Okay. Oh, I should probably mention, this game does have co-op. I will not be playing co-op because uh, I'm already playing enough with Shell. Like Pokemon, for example. But it is a thing, and if I wanted to, I could play it. Uh, so the co-op, it's fairly simple. You take control of the robot. And I think it lets the second player shoot and stuff. I'd love to try it for a little while, and so at some point I might just grab Shell for like a explore exploration segment. Just be like, ow, ow. I guess they're no different from the boars. And there's a lot more spark light in it for me, but ow, that hurts. They were hoping for two links. Her name is Ada, but yeah. That would be lovely, but that would bust the balance of the game. So I can kind of understand why they wouldn't do that. There's a lot of goop on the ground. Hopefully we can clean it up at some point. What the hell? Oh, I get it. Kill the tree first. Ah! It's a wiggler, but not quite. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I should probably go up. We're gonna want the gadget from up here anyway. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna get wrecked by these guys. I wonder if there's a, uh, whoop! Wow! <laughs> I just got sidewindered by that thing. It just, like, flipped out and was just like, but damn! Oh well. So Shell couldn't do another solo Let's Play at some point. Oh, she's got new things. Bronze Gadget Power Patch. Bronze Defense Patch. That would be worth it. But... I think I want to... Oh, shoot. I'm going to upgrade this first. I'd like to buy the rest of these, but yeah, can't fit. Oh. Maybe I have to buy the kinetic converter before I can get anything else. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I see. You're asking about uh, the, uh, the go live notification. Honestly, I have no idea exactly... Uh, wait. Uh, let's go this way. I, I never know exactly what the schedule is going to be. I know I want to play a bunch of Spark Light today just because it's super good. Oh, I forgot to pick up the widget from the dude. Oh, well. Yeah, the gun is 50, but I need a workshop bench to make it. Unless I'm mistaken. And also, I think that uses up widget power, which implies that I might never use it. Uh, let's see. Oh, down we go. Aw, oh, there's no friendly fire. Well, we should probably kill Big Bomber more than anything else. You messed up, boy. And we get these. Probably use them more often, but I am lazy bad. That ah, damn it. Let's see, is there a way to get the a bigger area for the patches to be put on? I think you need to upgrade the med bay once or twice to get more patch space. I know you can upgrade it. Uh, I know that for a f I'd say I, I know it for a fact, but never quote me on these things. Uh, really helpful. You should be able to pick up spark light for me. <laughs> That's just insulting. Oh, stuff fell in. Ah, eh, whatever. I mean, it's worth it. It's a decent amount of spark light, even if it gets lost. Yep. But did he... Did he bounce off of the open space of the cliff? That's... That's goofy. Okay. 90% certain neither of these rocks have anything in them. I don't think 
I don't think rock dig spots are procedurally generated. I could be wrong. Let's just go back to the forest for the time being. I could do I could do other stuff. Now here's the question. Do I have to dig up the uh the power crystal every single time I go by? Maybe? No, I don't. And it's open too, which is good. Also, thank you, Espeto Power, for the two-month resub. Is that an exclamation mark? I think it is. Unfortunately, it's super small on my screen, so it's very hard for me to tell. Who are you? Why are you farting? There's a fart flower over there. Okay, Prospector. Down we go! Uh, let's see. We do actually have a light thing. Okay, so whatever it is, it's over on the left. Okay, so we got a Founder's Onk. Last one. Check up above real quick. Doesn't look like there's anything. Okay, get back before we run out of light. I like that. That's a fun little puzzle. Normally in these games, you know, having a light power-up is just like, why would you... Like, usually, usually Flash in Pokemon is kind of, like, generic and, like, just kind of inconvenient. Well, it's not inconvenient. It's like, yeah, it's helpful, but it's not very exciting. It's like, yay, I had the exact same effect as a Flash... This had the same effect as a flashlight. But in this case, because it's temporary, there's in inherently this feeling of like, oh, I got a rush. And that actually feels pretty good. Hey, there's something down here. Dang it. <laughs> I think it's the exact same place again. Uh, I mean, that's it's fine. This forest concerns me. Well, we got a blueprint over here, so we're going this way. Not the bees. Look at how I can just smack it out of the air, even if it's way high above me. So yeah, I should just be able to get into each one of these at once every single time. That's okay. How are the saws running without power? They run purely on spite! Let's see, so what game is this? Trinkinator. Oh, this is how we go in pipes. Using an overcharged sparklight solenoid, this device realigns molecules to occupy one one hundredth of their original space. That's concerning. Oh, do I just... Oh, I don't actually have to use it. I just go straight through. Anyway, so this is Sparklight. Uh, it's roguelike. Comes out tomorrow. I I guess it comes out in a couple of hours. I think, because that's how release dates usually work. And it's a pretty good one. It's super reminiscent of Old School Legend of Zelda. And also has some, like, neat... Nope, I ain't making it through that. Okay. So we, we probably have to hit that crystal. Uh... Well, that works. And yeah, visually similar to Moonlighter. Yeah, I can definitely see that in terms of, like, visual quality and whatnot. Let's see, can you corner dash? Maybe? If you can, I'm not going to be very good at it, so I'm not going to try too hard. Okay, so we can now make the Shrinkinator. Let's see, anything else? Nope. Face off the bee. This bee can't hurt me that much. Well, it can. Bees are harmful. Yes, yeah, so I really gotta... I gotta respect the Hammer Smash. It is... it is worth it. 
out. But I should also respect it without, uh... I should respect the hammer smash, but not rely on it. Dodge first, then hit. Easy system, and bonk. And nothing. It's worth a shot. Okay, so we found the minions. We could... Could go after the boss in the area. I'm pretty sure I know who's in here, and I'm not super enthused about fighting him. Okay, near death. There we go. So, Snipe Boy is dangerous. But not as dangerous as the bees. I'm not even sure if the bees are dangerous. I think I'm just not used to their patterns. There we go. Oh, shit! I didn't kill the bee! Turns out... Uh... Oh. Hi. Oi! Get rid of these rascals! It turns out my... My remote-controlled bomb creature... Okay. Huzzah! Good on ya! Thanks, mate. Uh, gremlins strapped me there, but I couldn't, wouldn't clear these woods for them. I just want to chop and burn everything in sight. No respect for life. I'm Teddy, caretaker of these woods. But look at me. I can't even take care of myself, let alone these woods. I'm heading up to the refuge to try and help protect Geodia from a safer distance. Come see me if you'd like to lend a hand. Stay safe, mate. Cool. Okay, uh, let's see, so we've got that dead end. We want to go up, I think. Well, thank you, Conk Conk, for these seven... Ah, uh, shoot. This is one of those games that looking away for even a second is actually really dangerous. Anyway, thank you for the 7 month resub. How are you doing this, this lovely, comfy evening? It's actually really warm. It's been a lot toastier here than I thought it was going to be. Like it's oh, it's like mid to, mid November and it's still uh oh I got a heart from something nice uh it's still like verging on sixty something degrees every single night which is kind of nice for going out on walks but it's a little warm for for me to be working in like let's just go around bonk oops less bonk more bonk okay there we go. At least these things don't, like, walk towards me. I think that would... That would graduate them from... Vague threat to actually dangerous. Okay, let's see if it's... Nope, it's not the same layout this time. Might have to make my way back. In the dark. We'll see how this goes. Actually, direction. I can see where I'm going. But boy, I do not like running around in the dark like this. For that to come back. Alright, there we go. Just barely, but it's worth it. Okay. Heal the tree first. Socket tree. You never did anything good for me anyway. Bonk. Beautiful. And what do we have up? Nope. I did not respect the bee. 
and the bee did not respect respect my health bar. It does not look like we have any of those loot trees around here, which is unfor- oh, Okay, we're just backtracking. I mean, I guess I might as well just kill this sucker. Kill everything that's in my way, but like, probably not waste time like this. I guess the one thing we could do is actually go back and... Uh, we have a couple of options. Yeah, no med kits. They are a relatively rare drop, and I'm not sure where to get them from in this zone. Anyway, so I can murder these guys. So, neat thing about this game, by the way, I should probably mention, no contact damage. Which is a huge change as far as I'm concerned. And then we're gonna go in here and just try and beat the boss. Or, this ain't a boss. This is actually one of the puzzle dungeons. Well, if we're lucky, I'll just go straight through it. If we're not lucky, this is going to get dangerous. Luckily, it seems to have the ex... Nah, not quite the same layout. Whoop! Okay. Okay, so he does a jump. And it kills me. Damn it! I got stuck on the pipe! Alright, whatever. Yeah, do we have some kind of revive item there? Yeah, I think we had picked up a revive item. Okay, so I want to pick up the bronze defense patch. Maybe? That would help a lot. That helps a lot. Okay, let's get the kinetic converter. But the rest of these. We'll get the next bronze of resilience patch. Okay, so we want to get the bronze defense defense patch. I think easy thing, let's get rid of the vault triangulator. Kinetic converter. Let me see. Uh, I guess we want to get the bronze defense patch. I'll get another piece of HP. Okay. Hopefully I can increase that space at some point soon. So, was there a sparky floor bit in here? Not that I saw. Not here. Okay, upgrading the medical facility to level 3 increases the size of, the size of your patch board. So we want to save up for that next. Okay, we get another one of these little birds. Let's see, do we have any others? Not on the floor, no. Yeah, so... It doesn't look like I can make the gun and the bomb thing. And the shrink do. <laughs> Everything costs money. Yeah, so we probably... No, it wasn't an E-pack. We probably had a consumable item that's an auto-revive. And that's why I went back up. Oh, well. I mean, honestly, just having the defense patch alone is going to make a massive difference. Okay. So let's let's clear the Vinelands out. They're not the most ex exciting. However, they do have the most amount of consumable items that I can grab. We'll just clear it quick. Quick and easy. Uh, let's clear this out. All oh, right. This is what I'm trying to blast. Nothing down there. So I must get two energy from smacking things now. That'll be nice, especially if I ever actually start using the gun. Whoops. Well, it got it anyway. Sadly, nothing useful there, but eh, it's fine. Bring my 
this box. I need some... Okay, so we have no idea where we're going, as usual. Well, chances are this is not going to have the payout that it did last time. Yep, it's totally empty. Oh. oh. And yeah, we have not hit nearly enough enemies to get our recharge quota. Well, we could go back to the forest, but the forest is mean. So let's leave that alone for a second. Yeah. What's the plan after Sparklight tonight? Uh, I was going to play Super Liminal, but I want to play this for at least a while tonight. This game, this game is good. Right. I'm trying to charge. Is I don't know. Uh, let's see. So we can't do anything with that one yet. It's just simple fun, I guess. And there's something really satisfying about roguelikes with heavy meta meta upgrades along the way. It's still going to take us a long time to grind up to actually get any of the good things. But, like, I'm assuming if we get a bunch of those defense patches, we'll be... Uh, I'm not going to say virtually unbeatable, but we'll certainly be tanky enough that I can just, like, face punch a B and not care. Which I think would be quite lovely. Send that up. Whoops. Hey! What do we got down here? Money, that's what. Money and some upgrades. I wonder if there's ever going to be... Like, I'm really curious what the, the high-end patches are going to be like. Because it would actually be really cool if there were some high-end patches that make it so, like, you recharge uh, Sparklight Energy. Pretty sure I can still do nothing with this. Okay, so dumping him into the fire doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go back up. There's some kind of... There's some kind of fire... ability-ish, but I can't do anything with it. Wait, hold up. Aha! Good thing I was paying attention. There's bombs in then there! locations. I don't know. Uh, I don't see anything else. There's a couple of things that look like they're off screen, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, what happens if I interact with this flower? Can I, can I dig flower? No, cannot dig flower. It was worth a shot. Hey, there's a healing item. There's a bird under that. Eh. Nope. I was really hoping. Oh, we get a smidge. Problem is, there's a bird underneath that rock. But I need to kill something to be able to re- that. I need to kill something to be able to recharge my- my wrench. And all of the enemies in this area have despawned. Oops. I still wish the sparklight meter... Maybe if it just recharged very slowly. I don't know. I am I am a lazy backtracker. We don't have any other bombs? I mean, we do, but their consumable item is supposed to... A meter that I can recharge. Y you have to realize, Elixir Syndrome... Like, I am in Elixir Syndrome deep. And crawling out of that, that hole is not super doable for me. If it's a consumable item, I won't use it. Unless I really have to. It's just that, them's the rules. That's just how it works. <laughs> I guarantee it's going to be very difficult for me to use any consumable items 
when we play uh, Final Fantasy VII Remastered next year. I'm very much looking forward to, but it's going to be a problem. Okay, so we want to go wait now. Uh, right now. What hole? Elixir Syndrome is the norm. Everything else is just... Everyone else is just wasteful. I had some... Some people treat my Elixir Syndrome like it's some kind of weird disease. So, I don't know. I guess I've gotten defensive about it. No, there's nothing up there. Do we have a... I don't see any diggy holes. Oh! Shit! I always start by just holding the direction that I'm trying to send to the thing. But that immediately makes it turn and veer on, off course. Well, at least that doesn't do as much damage. Okay. Oh. I guess it would make sense that I can redo these. Because I think it's usually just like a little bit of money at the bottom. Well, down I go. Elixir sy syndrome can be terminal. Fact. But that's a risk that I'm willing to take. The weird part is, yeah, once uh, the ca the counterpoint to Elixir Syndrome for me is every once in a while I'll then hit like max capita an item and then just start using it flagrantly. Just being like, ah, whatever. I have so many of these and it'll run out and I'll be like, what? What do I even do about this? Okay, so we we didn't find a single freaking thing in there. Eh, that's fine. Murder plant is back. That's good enough. So even going to go blow up. So no, gonna go hit the tree. Memory of the goldfish. This one. Okay, grab that. Right, I was going down here. We are going to bomb a rock in the way. That's what it was. Boom. Oh, we've got a dig spot up here, here too. And it's just a smidge of, smidge of spark light. Which is admittedly quite nice. Okay. Go back. Grab the things. And where are we going? I guess up. Oh. Up for either. I'll go this way first. I'm not super... Hey! So the en enemies do occasionally drop health. Very occasionally. But they do. Okay, let's blast this rock in the off chance. And... Doesn't look like it. Okay. Break these. Okay, what do we get? Handy boost. Fortifies your defense for a short duration. Okay, that'd be lovely. I guess I am I am gunning to go kill a boss next, ideally. Uh I guess I haven't quite gone to the right yet. Okay, I can I can dive straight across that. Oops. There's an underwater bird. I'm pretty sure that's that's not safe. That is 100% not safe. Why are you down there? That is, that is a bad place to be. Oh, I wonder if I can actually use the hammer smack to actually knock those guys out. I will have to test that, see, see if it'll actually knock them out of their underground state. That'd be kind of nice. They were like, you thought you could hide from me. You fool. And then laugh about it a bit. 
And more little bird holes. Bird hole. Nope. That's just that's just the money hole. Why does this sound salacious? Because it is. Okay. Uh we we're going up. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this tree. Just in case. I mean, that's nice. Still always hoping for healing items, but I'll take what I can get. Underwater bird. So penguin. Yeah, except for penguins have to go up for air. This this bird is just down there. Potentially forever. Because that's where it lives. It seems unhealthy. Yeah, halfway to the med bay upgrade. Should be okay. Like I'm... We'll get it. As long as we don't have to fight too many, too many bees, because I think I can even handle the the snipe creatures too. And they they really made these things easy to spot. Like that little sparkle in the corner of the corner of your eye, more than good enough to just signify, hey, there's a thing over here. You should grab it. Oh, I can't shrink. This game just Legend of Zelda. I I mean, yeah, but like by that logic, uh, by that logic, Halo is just Call of Duty, or Call of Duty is just Halo, or uh, or Pokemon is just Final Fantasy, but with no set party members, or what are some other like? It's one of those where it's like, yeah, it very much uses the Souls-like isometric uh, back and slash formula. But I feel like just saying basically it's Zelda does this game a disservice. There we go. He did die. Stay away from that a little bit. And these things don't look like they're going away anytime soon. That's good. I'm gonna pull out that healing item. That rocket here was a little bit more dangerous than I thought it was going to be. Let's see. But yeah, it it absolutely is Zelda E in origin but like this has a, a dash which in and of itself makes a huge difference there's no shield that i've seen you're purely up to your ability to avoid hits and stuff which i guess makes sense for me i don't know 